Welcome back to Studio 10. Owls, eagles, hawks, turtles, snakes, just some of the animals you can see at the Environmental Studies Center. Saturday is a great time to go because you can see all the animals for free during their open house. And Susan Clement brought Brody. Yes. I remember meeting Brody when he was much younger, mm -hmm. and now he's all grown up. How old is he now? He's a year old now. A year. He turned a year old the beginning of April. And I said <laughs> we were going to be talking weather throughout the show. Brody had a rough <laughs> night, is what Susan told me. He said, Brody, it looks like you're having a hard time keeping your eyes open, man. But animals are afraid in weather like this, yeah, too. They have to find shelter, and you know, there's not as much shelter for them. And, and it was pretty rough weather, so. Poor guy. Not real easy for them. Yeah. Aww. Now, how, how did Brody end up at the environmental center? You know, actually, it was weather related because there was a storm when he was a baby, blew him out of the nest. He fell, broke his wing when he fell from the nest, and he's not able to fly. So he ended up with us. Oh, bless his heart. So he'll stay with you guys. Yes. yes. And some animals do, for the yeah. most part, though, you yeah. try to rehabilitate animals. Oh, yeah. Send them back into the wild. And I know you guys work so hard to do that. Yeah. Give us some examples of some other animals who have come through the environmental center, like Brody. Yeah. You know, we get everything from to hawks, owls, to turtles, you know, hit by cars. A lot of animals, you know, hit by cars. Also, animals that get caught by cats and dogs and other things. It's just. Most of the time, it's it's human related, usually an accident, but it's just a large variety of animals that we get in. I know at times you guys have had skunks and things yeah. like that, and yeah. all the time people are asking, Cherish, you know, I saw this animal, this animal fell out of yeah. a tree, yeah. like you were mentioning happened with mm -hmm. Brody, where do I need to take them? Yeah. Environmental Center, that would be you guys, yes, wildlife, yes. right? Yeah, we take in just injured wildlife, not dogs and cats. You know, with babies now, we try to keep them out. If, if the baby fell out of the nest, you can put it back in the nest. If it's a flesh Fledgling learn, learning how to fly, put it back in the bush. Oh. So we try not to take the babies if they're not injured. That is good to know. Yeah. Some good yeah. tips for us. And <laughs> you can learn a lot at the Environmental Center on Saturday. You can also meet little guys just like Brody, yes. owls, hawks, even some reptiles. Mm -hmm. Lots mm -hmm. of animals there, yes, right? Yes. Oh, yes. We're going to have our Rafter Road Show, which of course Brody will be in. And like you said, our reptile presentation. We're going to have, along with all different presentations, we're going to have a bake sale, hot dogs, hamburgers. The event is free, but you know, to buy the hot dogs and hamburgers, all the, the money that we make at the open house goes to our wildlife rehabilitation program. Okay, so. and so free to get in, yes. but Susan, you are asking everyone to bring items to help you rehabilitate yes. animals just yes. like Brody. What are a few things just top of mind? Yes, everything from wild bird seed to dry dog food, canned dog food, bleach, dishwashing soap. It's all part of our wildlife wish list. Can all help. Yes. And again, that's going to be Saturday. Where is the best place to park? I know it's kind of tough parking in that it's area. It's been very tough, so we actually have a shuttle from Burns Middle School, which is literally right next to us. So we're asking uh -huh. everybody, park at Burns Middle School, and we will shuttle you for free to the center and then shuttle you right back. Good deal. Yes. Okay, so make your plans to take your family to the Environmental Studies Center off Gerby Road in Mobile Saturday. 10 to 3 for that open house. The wildlife wish list that Susan and I were talking about is on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page, as well as the number to the Environmental Studies Center if you have any questions. So make your plans to go see this little guy. I think he's going to go to sleep now. <laughs>